Well, welcome back. This is a little quick update on the encoder before I move on to the RF board. So, as you can see, uh, the knobs are on. That's part of putting the encoder in. The encoder, of course, is the VFO encoder, which is a little board, which I showed you previously, and there it is soldered into place on the back right there in the middle. And uh, I'll try to zoom in on it. I want to show you something and discuss it briefly. We'll try to get in here with the hmm, lighting problem mainly. Let's see. There it is. You see those four pins coming down that are out of focus? Let me try to focus this thing. We're going to turn off autofocus. better. So those four pins there, if I can point to them with my pencil, right in there, you see the four wires. They're actually four wires. In the previous step, you, you prepare the four wires to install the encoder board because that is the, what makes a connection between your encoder board and the main and the PC board on the front panel. Um, so I went ahead and put those pin those wires in per the instructions, got all done, was ready to put this thing in, and lo and behold, I found in the kit, oh, let me turn my autofocus back on, sorry. I found this little four pin connector, and that was in with the encoder, so, but there's absolutely no mention of it in the instructions, so I made the assumption, which I think most people would, that it was to replace those four pieces of wire there that they decided to add this instead. So I emailed uh, Elecraft and I ref telling them, you know, you made a mistake. You told us to put the wires in and in reality, you know, you and then added this little pin thing, which looks like it should go there. Got an immediate answer back from Don Wil Wilhelm, I think his name is. He's on the he's on the Elecraft uh reflector as well. Really nice, helpful guy who like knows this radio inside and out. I believe he's an electrical engineer. Extremely uh, uh, bright fella. Uh, one of the guys like you wish you were knew as much as he knew. Anyway, uh, <laughs> at least I do. He said, toss it in my parts bin. It's not a mistake uh, in the instructions. Uh, he didn't really say why this was included. I'm guessing somebody maybe Maybe they thought they were going to use that and didn't. Um, however, if you look, I, you can't really get a sense. It would be really close. I can sort of get a sense there. It would be very close on whether these pins would even be long enough to bridge the gap between the board, the two boards. I, I think it probably wouldn't quite make it. So I'm just doing that update and letting people know in case anybody stumbles across this video and they're putting one of these together and they happen to have one of these little things in there, it's not used. You do, in fact, use the wires the way the instructions tell you to to connect the encoder. So that is the front. Hey, it looks like a radio now, right? Of course, it's not. It's only the front panel and the RF board, which is the big board that goes back here and plugs in down here, has to be built next, and that will be next... Uh, in the uh, assembly of the board. But it's looking good and the, this thing spins real nice. And like I said, this is a nice weighted aluminum uh, tuner board with a built-in dimple, very nice. And the knobs are rubberized and quite quite nice to use. So We'll be on uh, next uh, working on the RF board. Thanks for watching again. This is Tom. Have a great day, 73.